Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to a new video. We are about to play Nottingham Forest today at home. Obviously last time we played them was away and well we've got a few red cards that shouldn't have been red cards. So I think the atmosphere is going to be amazing tonight. I can't wait. Also, Brighton were playing Cardiff tonight and I've just found out that's been cancelled because of bad weather. Which means if they're not playing and we win, we can go top of the championship again. So... We better win. Also, just to show off my new coat that I got, and if I click my fingers, see? <laughs> it's different now. Yeah, so this will save me having to wear about three different coats to the match when it's freezing. But yeah, so I did put a prediction down on this one. I went 2-1 Newcastle. I'm actually hoping for more. Now that I'm getting up for it a bit more, I'm actually hoping we smash them. 2-1, um, I would take it, and that, like I said, that would take us top of the league. So I'm heading off now, fingers crossed, Oh, also one thing I mentioned before we go, I did a poll on Twitter, um, I actually did a video um, yesterday or the other day reviewing the game, so make sure you check that out, and I basically said, is it time to play Mitro and Gale up front together? I can't confirm the, um, the team sheet is out, and um, it's Perez and Gale up front. Um, Richie, Atu, Callback, Hayden, so Atu hopefully maybe provide a bit more than Gufran has been in the last few games. Perez... Uh, I'd rather Diame was. I'd rather Diame was. If it was, if it's not going to be Gale and Mitro, I'd rather it was Diame. But maybe Rafa knows something that I don't. But anyway, I am off to the game now. I will see you in a bit. Come on, Newcastle! Right, lads, I'm in town. But I didn't realise it was a dodgy bus service, so I'm now running to the match. I've still got a few minutes. I should be fine. Oh. I think I missed the first 30 seconds, so we're all good. Started off so well, so much was going on, and then uh, it just kind of died off. I don't like, I don't know if the pressure's too much because there's a, a big atmosphere here today. Um, really need to turn it on off. Rafa needs to make some changes. Maybe Mitro needs to come on. Come on, Newcastle. Well guys, there you go, 3-1 win, top of the league, um, top of the league for New Year, obviously Brighton didn't play, which helped, and Reading's game got postponed as well, I've just found out, so, I mean, <laughs> I'd rather have the points on the board than be waiting to play a game still, so we'll take that. I mean, I don't think we could say that that was the best game. 
we've ever played. Um, definitely, it wasn't the worst, but the the main thing was we got we got the points. That that is the the win. Um, Richie scored his free kick in the first four minutes. I just about made it in time for that one. So <laughs> um, I may, I literally sat down um, and then the goal went in. So I got there just in time. Um, and then we were playing well. And I don't know what happened. Um, but we just kind of... The pressure we were putting on them just kind of withered away. They got a goal. Um, and then that's when it was it was a real battle for um, for for both teams. I think um, there wasn't much football being played. It was a lot of hard tackles um, and basically just wanting to win the game. And that's when we went in at one one. Um, and I've not watched my halftime chat back, but I think basically what I was saying was we needed to mix things up. Um, it was kind of going back to the Sheffield Wednesday again. We were playing the long ball at Gale up top on his own. Um, a lot of our play goes down the right-hand side because Richie's there, Yedlin's around the back, which means Atsu is cutting in a lot, which means we haven't... And because we haven't got Shelby, we haven't got anyone to, to, to switch the play. So when we're doing everything down the right-hand side, Atsu's coming in because no one's ever passing the ball out there. It makes it a lot easier to defend. So although we did... Uh, I'll move on to the second half. Second half... Um, yeah, we definitely played better. Thank you to the um, fourth official who called the ref over uh, to let him know that I think someone else deserved a yellow and then it, and then he got sent off. If you know what actually happened in that incident, let me know. Because from what all I saw was uh, I think the ref decided to book someone else as well or did the ref realise he, he needed a second yellow card? I'm not sure, but that red card was a turning point in the game. Um, we needed a boost. To, um, to basically start going at them, and uh, the fourth official gave that to us, so thank you very much. Um, without Shelby, I still think we're, we're still finding our way to play without him. Um, I would rather not have the performance that, like we did in the first half for the next three games, we're missing them. Second half, fine, I'll take that for the next three games, but like I said, we... We don't really have anyone who can pass the ball like Shelby can. And when you've played the last 18, 17, 18 games with a person who brings it in, spreads the play, and then suddenly you haven't got that anymore, um, and you've got to do small passes across the pitch, everything's slowed down so much more, and um, basically we just haven't found the, the key way to play without them. I was calling out for some wide wingers, Atsu, uh, Richie or Yedlin around the back, Mitro and Gale up front. Uh, Mitro didn't even get on the pitch today, which was... Uh, oh, no, he did. I'm lying. Mitro did get on the pitch, but um, only for about 10 minutes maximum if you include the extra time. So I would rather he'd come on sooner, but at the same time, we were winning 3-1. Um, and do you bring a striker on when you win a 3-1? Not really. But yes, guys, we won, and that is the main thing. Um, I'm going to be editing this tonight and posting it tomorrow, which means you're watching this on New Year's Eve. So I hope you, I hope you all have an amazing night. Um, I'll be back with my Premier League predictions video on uh, New Year's Day, so you can all watch that in your hangover state, or just tired if you're just uh, staying up for the late night. But I thank you all for watching. Please do drop a like. Uh, drop a like for Newcastle being top of the league 2016 uh, championship. <laughs> but yes, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.